so confused about data page scopes in Pega? Thread requester or not? Don't worry. Let's clear it with a simple and tasty example. Imagine you walk into a restaurant and there is a big biryani handi in the kitchen. It is actually cooked once and everyone gets served from there. No doubt it's a node scope. Same data shared to everyone until it's refreshed. And use it in your requirement like countries list or if you wanted to pull out product catalog or if you wanted to get exchange rates. Okay, so the data which hardly changes, you have to define it with node scope. Now, the waiter search your thali right and it's only for you and there will be multiple small small dishes. The whole thali belongs to you during your entire visit. It's of requester scope and use it when data stays same for the user during the complete session like operator's profile or user preferences and finally the small bowl of curry on your thali just for the dish you are currently eating and if you switch the dish only the bowl changes right and that's the thread scope and use thread scope in your requirements like customer specific offers depending upon customer to customer if offer changes and maybe if some product details are changing based on some UI selection. So there we'll try to go for thread scope. Save this video and next time when someone asks you about data page scope just to say it's like a biryani. Depends upon how hungry that data its scope must be defined. So follow for more Pega tips. Chandra signing off.